Yo, what's going on everybody? Perry here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day and thank you for tuning in for another video of mine. Really do appreciate it. Before we get into the video, I have another haul for you guys. Uh, some stuff I picked up from some local gaming stores. So before we get into that, let's get into the feature piece and I hope you guys are excited for today's video. I got some really cool pickups. So let's get into the feature piece and we can jump into the haul video. So guys, right here is the first piece, Dragon Ball Evolved. This is Piccolo. Um, obviously it's a series name like I said. So we got Piccolo right here. And uh, obviously in the background you can see like the pink and blue and yellow. A little bit of white down there. It's like a special beam cannon effect, I would say. Uh, very cool. I do love the white background as well. I think this is the only figure that I did the white background on was Piccolo. Uh, this is also an Amazon exclusive. So if you are looking for this, uh, pick it up from Amazon. Might find this in local gaming shops as well. Uh, this is only a $10 figure. So um, I did pre-order this one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a nice figure. Obviously, Piccolo is my favorite. So if you guys do want this, check out Amazon. You can probably pick it up for probably around the same price as it is right now, 10 bucks. So very cool piece nonetheless. So there is another close look at uh, Piccolo. All right, so next up here, guys, for the first piece for the day. I'm going to adjust my camera so we can see a little bit easier. Duke on Movie Collection piece here. I paid, as you can see right there, 50 bucks for it. Uh, before I get into that, this card was already in there. Um, I don't know if it came from the store and it was just slotted in there because I don't really collect Dragon Ball Z cards. I'm not sure how much this is worth, but um, I guess it was just slotted in there, so I just kind of kept it in there. But yeah, not sure where it came from, but I guess it's just going to sit to the side for right now. But as you can see, I paid 50 bucks for this figure. We got Krillin here in the space suit. There's like a lunch bag right here, a lunch box, um, sort of say. And I'm guessing that little black peg down there that you can see is for one of his feet to stick into. Uh, I don't take these figures out of the boxes, so this one's in actually really good condition for being 50 bucks. Uh, I've seen these like upwards of over $100. Um, just, just for everything's like being ripped. This is one's in like f immaculate condition. So glad I picked this one up for 50. It's going to be going on the shelf in the collection somewhere once I find uh, room, but yeah, very nice piece. Nice pickup. As you can see right here, the next piece is from Dragon Ball Super, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. It's a 2020 summer convention limited edition. It's a very nice piece. Sorry if it's hard to see in there, the lens glare and all that stuff. Um, hope you can see in there. It's a really nice piece though. Paid a hundred bucks for it, as you can see on the bottom right there, it's upside down. But hundred bucks for the piece. Stop it. Get some help. Um, I'm thinking these went down in price. I'm sure at one point they were like one for like almost one fifty or more. Uh, there was one time that it was like hundred and thirty. I waited to pick it up and I got it for a hundred. So kind of cool that I, uh, the place I checked out had it in stock for that price. So yeah, it's a nice piece. Can't wait to add this one onto the shelf. Uh, they had a, I don't know if they have a glow for this, a glow variant, but that would be really nice to have like the hair, the eyes, and like the aura in the back of them glow. That would be really sweet, but very nice piece nonetheless. Uh, I just don't like the price, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So next up, we have this uh, one-wheel bike. Obviously, I've, I have never seen these before. These are from Irwin Toys, as you see right here. I didn't even know they made things like this. Um, with the, like the, It's like a pop ride almost, but it's not a pop ride. Obviously, it's from Irwin Toys. Um, Airbike 67, as you can see down there. I think this one's different. Might be a different set. The one that we have right here is the one-wheel bike, and is featuring Super Saiyan Gohan. As you can see right there, his face looks kind of, uh, dirty, I guess you want to say. Uh, I think it does make sound as well, so I'll push that and show you guys. Nice. I'm surprised this still works after 20 years. I think this came out like in 2002. Yeah, so these came out in 2002. As you can see right there, I did pay $70 for this. Uh, kind of pricey, but these are like really hard to find, especially in this condition and in the box. So uh, glad that I picked it up. And I did pick up two more of these. Obviously, it's different than what this one is. But let's check those out as well and show you guys what I did pick up. Next up here, we do got Super Saiyan Goku, uh, featured with the Sky Bike number 341. And it's kind of like bronze uh, for his hair. It's not really a gold, but the faces as well just look hilarious to me. They're not even like really, they resemble him, but not even really in the slightest. It's kind of, it's funny. But we're just going to side right here. Got the back. That one's another one, the Jet Momanga. Very cool. Another side, and then back to the figure. 
Uh, I'm not going to open these, but I will uh, display them on the shelf somewhere. I just thought they were really cool to pick up. Yet again, I did pay 70 for this one as well. Like I said, kind of pricey. So I paid over $200 for the ones I did pick up, but I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, so kind of cool to have into the collection. Let's get on to the final one and show you guys which one I picked up. Last but not least here, guys, we got the uh, Jet Mo Manga. I think it's how you pronounce it. But do got the Jet Mo Manga here, Dragon Ball Z, featuring Super Saiyan Gohan as a kid. Uh, very interesting. So you see right there on the side. And then we got the back right here. And then another side. And then back to the front. Uh, missing that Vegeta one. That one would be really cool eventually to pick up in the future if I could ever find it. But I paid 70 for this one as well, as you could tell by the price tag. So I paid like over $220 for all three of them. Um, and then the 50 for the Krillin. And then the 100 for the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. So it was a pricey pickup, but very cool to add these to the collection. Not sure where they're going to go yet, but they will go somewhere in the future. But let me know down below which one was your favorite out of the three. So either you got this one, you got that one featuring the Super Saiyan, featuring the Super Saiyan Gohan. Or we got this one right here, uh, the Super Saiyan Goku with the Capsule 341. So out of these three, let me know down below which one was your favorite. So guys, I know it was a short video, uh, just a short pickup haul of things that I did pick up. Uh, some more expensive pieces, uh, to be honest, but kind of cool to pick them up into the collection. Let me know down below which one was your favorite out of the five that I did pick up, and uh, which one you think that was obviously kind of overpriced. I think some of them were overpriced, but I did want to add them to the collection, that's the reason I did pick them up. But just let me know down below which one was your favorite out of the five. With all that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I do post newer content, it does hit your uh, in-feed box and notify you that I did upload. But with all that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.